Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this experiment we demonstrate the function of a passive solar radiation shield by collecting temperature data from a logger protected by a radiation shield and a logger that recorded temperature data when placed in direct sunlight. The collected information will be compared to actual temperature information collected from our nearest Bureau of Meteorology weather station. For this experiment we are using two ELUSB1 temperature data loggers and a passive solar radiation shield. First, we set up the two data loggers to start collecting temperature information from 9 o'clock onwards. Then we place them outside, one inside the solar radiation shield and away from sources of radiant heat, and the other left exposed on the concrete path. We left the loggers for some time to collect temperature information. Three and a half hours later, it's time to export the collected data. After compiling the data collected from the two ELUSB1 loggers, it's clear to see there is a drastic difference in the temperature collected from our two loggers. From 9.30 to 1.30, our shielded logger gradually increased from 15.3 degrees to 19.2 degrees, while our exposed logger started at 26 degrees and ended up a very warm 37 degrees. So, which was closer to the actual temperature? When we overlay the temperature data collected from our nearest weather station, which is around 7.5 kilometres away, the results show that the shielded logger recorded temperatures that followed verified actual temperatures closely. The unshielded temperature logger experienced temperatures much higher than official readings. Our experiment indicates that radiation shields work to ensure consistently accurate temperature readings by adequately shading and ventilating the weather station's temperature sensors. And that is the function of a solar radiation shield. For more information on this topic, or to speak with an instrument choice scientist, see the details in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.